This is how I would become a remote closer if I could start over. So for context, I'm now closing my own business. But before that, I've been in remote closing for three years, closed for a tech startup and closed for several other online coaches. I discovered remote closing six months after finishing high school. At that time, I wasn't sure if I wanted to get a degree, go to the military or go work at a local supermarket, right? The casual three. But I finally listened to Gary Vee telling me through one of his Instagram reels that I had nothing to lose. Someone in their early 20s almost risk nothing. We have almost no risks, no responsibilities. So I did what any crazy person would, bet on myself and do my own thing. Eventually I failed one of my first businesses, but I found my next skill and that was remote closing. I'm here to tell you that you don't need to go through the struggles that I went through. You don't need to fail a business to start remote closing. You can start it now. I was fresh out of high school when I got my first setting role and later promoted to a closer, making $7,000 a month without any previous experience. And if I can do that, then so can you. So for the easiest possible start, and this is what I would do, is to find a role that allows for high volume, meaning you need to find an online business that gives you an endless amount of leads to call or sales calls to close depending on if you are a setter or if you are a closer. And the roles that you know have high volume are often low entry roles, meaning you don't need tons of experience to get hired. The only thing you really need is commitment to do well and humble enough to learn. The reason uh, it is low entry to begin with is because the price. The, the price of the product is between $2,000 and $5,000. Not something crazy like $40,000 per deal or $50,000 per, per deal, which is quite high level. One of my friends, Ulu, when he first got started, I put him on a $2,000 nutrition product. It's not the highest priced, but it gave Ulu such a high volume early on that it gained experience fast. And five months later, he found another role that allowed him to sell something more higher priced, right? And that allowed him to make $10,000 per month. Now the internet made you believe that the progress for this is instant, but it is a step-by-step -step progression. So don't expect to have a side income of $20,000 per month in your first 90 days, like the sales trainers tell you. And the online businesses that allows for high volume are not dream companies to work with long term because they're often roles that won't get you to $10,000 per month in commissions, but they'll give you such a high volume early on that you will learn faster. And the more you do something, the better you get. So if you value mastering the skill about making money in at the beginning of your career, if you value, you know, gaining experience faster, if you value putting in six months of hard work, but you know that after this, these six months, everything else will get so much easier, then this might be the, the uh, possibility for you. But just know that it probably is gonna suck the first six months, but after six months, you are going to absolutely thrive. Now, this isn't for everyone. For the right person, an environment like this will guarantee that you will succeed in remote closing. Oftentimes it will be appointment setting and then you grow to a closer in the same company. And the way I promoted to closer from appointment setter was that I booked so many appointments my closers could not handle. They had too many fucking sales calls that I had to schedule people weeks ahead, a week ahead, two weeks ahead. And when people are scheduled two weeks ahead, it happens that they forget about the meeting, right? So people just didn't show up. So when it came time to finally increase the closer team, I was first in line and they hired two new setters to replace me. This is how I promoted from appointment setter to closer. And I like to share that there is no particular way to specifically find these roles. It is something you need to filter by looking at the information given by the company, given by the recruiter and given by the job post. One way you can just get an idea, right? Get a clue is to compare the total company revenue and the product cost. So the nutrition offer that I mentioned before 
uh, one of my friends at Hulu, they were at $150,000 per month in revenue when Hulu started, right? They wanted to scale to $250,000 uh, with a product that cost $2,000. So if you do the math, right, on current earnings that they have within the company, 150,000 revenue divided by 2000. That is 75 customers every single month. And to just help you with the comparison, right? the other products that I've sold, I would only need to sign up like eight people to do 150,000 per month in revenue. So 75 customers every single month, that's extremely high volume compared to eight. So that's a way you can tell if it is high volume or not, or if the demand for the product is there. And something to take note from is the biggest mistake to avoid. For me, that was sales training at the beginning of my career. Every single sales coach will tell you that you need to buy training to get a set of role. You need to buy training to get a closer role. You need to be trained, but that can't be further from the truth. You don't need sales training to get hired. My first mistake was investing so much time into sales training without any real life experience, without any real life conversations. And when I, when I eventually got my first setter position, I had to learn the way that the company sells and not the way that the course taught me to sell, right? So if a company is already doing 200,000 a month, 300,000 a month in, you know, dollars revenue, they are obviously doing something right. They're obviously doing something right. So why would you try to change what they are doing that is working by trying to sell your own way? So just be aware and don't waste hours of your time on sales training just like I did before you get a position where you can have real life examples, real life experience and real life conversations, not just role plays where you role play with the other dude, you know, being inexperienced as well. That's a recipe for disaster. Now, if you want to find these companies, I'll put together a completely free remote sales guide here on YouTube with over 90 minutes of content showing everything that you need to land a high volume sales position. So check that video out where I'll show you what you'll learn, how it works, uh, how to use the information to make remote closing your full-time career.